This is the Dryease LGR 7000, and it's a dehumidifier, and it uh, draws about 8.3 amps, depending on what the computer tells it to do. It's kind of an advanced piece of technology in that it does have a computer in it, and the computer calculates the relative fan speed to compressor speed to pull out the optimum amount of moisture in the environment. The LGR 7000 uh, pulls out about 16 gallons of water every day, so about three five-gallon buckets. And that is about double what the uh, Evolution or the 1200, which is the smaller models of this machine, do. We chose a larger model because generally if you're going to dehumidify something, you want it to take out the most water possible as quickly as possible. And so we opted for a larger machine for rental purposes as we think people will be happier in the long run using this. This machine, because it's run on a computer, uh, automatically purges the water that it collects every six minutes or when the tank is full. And the machine is relatively plug and play. There are two things that you need to plug into the machine to get it running. First is the extension cord, or its cord, and that is as simple as plugging into the bottom and plugging into a wall, and the machine turns on. This is your on button, and on a machine, on this particular machine, that's all you need to do is hit your on button. It's already set to 30% humidity, which is what you want to dry to and it automatically calculates the right fan and cooling or the fan and uh, compressor temperatures that need are needed to be used to pull out the most moisture in the environment depending on the humidity level and depending on the temperature in the room. The second thing that you need to plug in is this 40 feet of clear hose. Because it automatically purges every six minutes, you simply plug this into its, uh, to this receptacle and you run your hose into a toilet or into a bathroom or into a sink or out the door. You can run this hose no higher than 20 feet from where this machine is. So you can't have the exit of this hose 20 feet higher than where this machine is. However, if you go up a set of stairs from a basement, you're okay. Uh, this machine will handle it. The machine should be really used in tandem with a couple of fans. And here's why. When you're looking to dehumidify a room or take moisture out, Remember that you're, you want to get the, the moisture to circulate or the dry air to circulate with the moist air or have contact with moist environments so that then the moisture collects in the air and then is pulled out by the machine. So when you're running the machine, you want to run multiple fans so that you have the highest level of humidity in the air so this machine works at its highest level of efficiency. So if you have a leak, or you have water on your carpet, or you have water in your wall, you want to make sure that you have a maximal amount of airflow going by so that the moisture is pulled out of the substance and into the air, and then you want this fan working simultaneously, or pardon me, this dehumidifier working simultaneously. We rent this particular machine with two of these dehumidifiers as a package deal, or pardon me, it's these two fans as a package deal. And these fans are no joke. They run up to four amps, and you can change your setting depending on what your needs are. You can also plug one fan into the next fan next to it and run them in a daisy chain if you want to. Given that most breakers are about 15 amps, that means you could plug two fans simultaneously into one outlet. So make sure you check your breakers and make sure you, you know, use follow, you're safe. Once you're done with this machine, uh, and your relative humidity is down at about 30%, uh, you'll stop producing water, 
and your uh, room will feel dry. There's some links on our webpage that explain what humidity you're looking for and what symptoms are. Um, you'll feel the air actually being dry at about 30% humidity, or you should. But when you're done, you since it's auto-purging, you simply unplug it, put away your cord, unplug your water line, put away your cord, and you're done.